I can't believe it, we've finally done it. After years of crawling slowly through the mud, and climbing up hills, breaking blocks by hand, and most importantly, taking the most damage across the land, we've done it. We've finally done it today inside of our beautiful world with a beautiful brand, the new tower we built last time. We can at last do it and fix this armor. By the end of the episode, we're talking the best set in the entire land. Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the guide. Before we do all of that magical stuff, there's an elephant in the room. There's beautiful the shaders. What do you think about these ones? For today's episode, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Complimentary shaders. The beautiful Fjord. I could almost kiss it to myself. It's so beautiful looking. Look at how good that looks. And just like kind of looking around at the base. I mean, it's a little dark right now because it's bright and early in the morning. I mean, you know, you got to give the sun time to wake up and everything. But whew, what do you think? Do you like these ones or do you like the other ones? Let me know. Today, my friends, is a magical, magical kind of day. Over here inside of this building right here, diamonds, 43. I hope we don't need more than 43. And then lapis, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of it too. When it comes to the things that I'd like to take a look at inside of today's episode, it's mainly going to be the helmet and the boots. Because, spoiler alert, the leggings right here, they're just about perfect. And the chest plate, it's actually just about perfect too. Those rays, those beautiful rays shining, shimmering through the top of the thing. I, I'm never going to get to enchantment thing. I, I'm just going to be distracted the entire episode. Oh, my baby. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Oh, I, I love it so much. So I kind of had this, like, fun idea that I thought we would do while taking on all of our enchanting wonderfulness today. Over here, posted up inside of the building, I've gone ahead and put myself a feather, an ink sack, and a book. Mainly those three ingredients because I can't exactly remember the ingredients, but I, uh, y'all lost? Yes, I thought so. A written book. I would like to make a written book, and on this written book, at least on this page, we kick things off with that cool design. Maybe we skip down a little bit and boom. Okay, I'm going to have to work on the lining, but something like that. You get the vision. Today, I kind of had a cool little vision that we would take a look at every single best enchantment in the game, mainly specifically for the armor. And to do all of that, we will kick it off with a very beautiful guy. Look at that, that comfort page right there. That's a chef's kiss. If I go ahead and turn the page, oh, well, look at that helmet. That's going to be the first on the menu today. When it comes to our helmet that we have going for us, had going for us for a long time, it's a pretty solid start with Unbreaking 3 and Protection 4. But look, look, I don't want to be a pessimist or nothing. It's not really my vibe. However, enchanting in this world, being a realist, has not exactly been smooth. In order to get a better helmet, we might have to end up running through a couple things. So we'll make a pair of boots, a sword, and maybe even our very first diamond shovel of the world, too. And see what we can buff up. Enchanting. You know how it goes. We talked a little bit about it in an earlier episode at an old zone. Hopefully today my luck will not be terrible. When it comes to enchanting, the best strategy is to maybe maybe have a couple different things you want to try and enchant. With a couple different things, this way, if I throw the sword in here and I'm really looking for looting and I'm just seeing unbreaking, I don't have to, like, just waste it. Instead, I could maybe put that beautiful helmet <laughs> and find one of the very essential enchantments I need. All right, so I'm nervous. I get so nervous for these enchanting episodes because you really never know how they're going to go. Is it going to, like, cooperate or is it going to be terribly... <laughs> terribly... Terribly tragic. Alrighty, well, Aqua Affinity is definitely one of the helmet enchantments of all time, that's for sure. I can't believe it, I'm pained and I'm sad. I've cycled through everything else here and nothing is really catching my eye. I mean, oh, oh I can't believe I just did that because I, oh, I have something I need to tell you about. Sharpness 4, please be, no, 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 no. Hey, oh, wait a second, Protection 3. Ooh, Protection 3, I could borrow that though. Ooh, haha. <laughs> so this is the thing that I was terrified about today. You see, for enchanting, we're going to need quite a bit of levels. And I mean, to get levels, no big deal. I can, I, I can go next door and maybe just stand around over here, read through this book, maybe look at the Albert enchantment for the best one. Aqua Affinity, Respiration 3, Unbreaking 3, Protection, and Mending. But for the enchantments, I'm going to need levels. And to get levels, it's, it's going to be a whole lot of waiting around. Uh, this isn't exactly the most efficient experience farm in the entire world. So back up here on the surface with a little bit more levels, please allow me to introduce to you 
My secret little weapon. So look, I'm, I'm a guy. That wouldn't say the dumbest guy of all time, but I maybe, probably, definitely, exactly wouldn't say the smartest guy of all time. Over here, I have my enchanted books. Before this episode, I did a little bit of organizing, more specifically, a little bit of reading, studying, you know, how it goes. Aqua Affinity. Why in the world did I take the Aqua Affinity enchantment? I was hopeful, okay? I also have Respiration 3, which is just about everything that I need for this helmet, plus the Protection 3 book. Then I have Depth Strider, but I also have these other really good enchantments too. So that's a little tricky. Grindstone, an essential. In an earlier episode, a little bit earlier on, we talked about every single thing essential near every single enchantment setup that you ever make. One of those big things I like to have is a chest. Maybe like extra storage, you could leave like say Lapis inside of the chest. Another great thing to have, you kind of need to have it, is gonna be a grindstone. So you can disenchant things that you accidentally enchanted and don't really need to have enchanted, but what does it matter? I spent the diamonds on the helmet anyways. Another thing that might be a great call to have nearby is an anvil, or maybe even two, because of their whole unfortunate durability breaking mechanic. I don't know how expensive this is gonna get. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna be bad. I think we'll combine everything later on, because I have 30 levels right now, but, but that's not gonna be too bad. For our diamond helmet today, if I take this Protection 3 book, I combine that with Protection 3 on the helmet, I'm more than beautiful. That's every single helmet and jamming other than mending taken care of. Now to stay organized and focused and on track of everything today, I will go ahead and throw everything in there because enchanting, at least in my opinion, when enchanting, you want to try and stay organized so you can like, you know, really see what you're looking at, looking for, and working with. Now taking a look at our armor today, the chest plate and the leggings, those are looking pretty fire, but the boots right here, I'm missing one big, beautiful friend. That's gonna be Depth Strider. Desperately, I long for and I search for Depth Strider. When looking for a specific single enchantment, here's my strategy. We start with diamond boots, the thing that the enchantment actually goes on. We check for it, unfortunately it's not there, we roll it away. Book right there, we check maybe these two slots, it's not gonna be there. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is take that first one, when disenchanted, go over here and magically is back right here. I wish. As enticing as, say, something like Silk Touch could be for maybe a better diamond shovel, first things first, these beautiful boots. I'm not going to spend all day, my entire day, looking through enchantments, trying to crawl through the mud, climb through the mud metaphorically again, looking for one single enchantment. Depth Strider 3, it's not that high of a level. I know that I can find that max beautiful level inside of this enchanting table. Please, baby, come on, please, listen. I will do it, I guess I'll do it if you make me. I'll re-roll this enchantment, every single enchantment of every single minute of the day until I see that one beautiful and depth stridery enchantment right there. Haha, <laughs> we're out of something. Alas and so, I've just about done it. That pair of boots is one simple enchantment away, well, maybe two enchantments away, for being the best pair of boots in the entire land. Oh, oh yeah, and look at this, that reminds me, the beautiful forest that I've been growing in here, it looks so dense and good now. I got nice and tall trees, and I even, I need one more cherry log to put like, right there where that dirt is, but I decided to grow the wise one. The old man himself, the ancient cherry tree growing out of the side of the cliff. Oh, I think that's kind of beautiful looking. If this tree would grow up, we'd be just about golden. Now while I wait for my levels to get a little bit better, I'd like to show you something. Over here on the Waddle's YouTube channel, slide over to live and... Oh, oh. Well, what is this? So, lately, I was kind of starting to get the itch for live streaming again. This is something that I used to do, like, a long time ago. If you are a true veteran, you may remember live streams over on Twitch. But I stopped doing them about, like, a year and a half ago, or maybe it was two years. It's just, like, it's hard, you know? Like, workshopping the jokes, writing the jokes, making five videos a week, and editing five videos a week, and uploading five videos. Yeah, it's hard, you know? I've always loved live streaming, but I've always made a lot of videos as well in time, unfortunately. Well, you know what they say. Time and... There is... There is only so many times. Yeah. yeah. Lately, I can't handle it. I just had to live stream, and so... I've started live streaming again. Except this time, it's not over on Twitch. It's over here on this very channel right here. Now, so far up until this point, unless I throw a curveball or something, I have been streamed the guide world, but eventually, one day, that is hopefully the plan. I was thinking like maybe even a live world tour, live like mining projects, heck, maybe even a live city or something like a, almost like a different zone of the world that we go to. Now, right now, just because I want to, like, try and, like, ease back into live streaming and not, like, just be a disappointment to let you guys down, I don't really want to set myself to a schedule or anything like that. But what I could tell you is that if I'm going to go live, more than likely, it will be near the end of the week. We're talking a Thursday or a Friday, and usually it will be probably around, like, 10 to 11 a.m. Eastern time. 
I know it's maybe not like exactly the most convenient time. Maybe I'll work on that later or even like do more streams, more days of the week. But for now, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But on that note, great news. If you missed a stream, it's no big deal. I'll, I will forgive you just this once, but don't do it again. If you miss a stream and you want to catch up or you just want some more content to vibe through, listen to in the background, slide over to the live tab of the channel because, I mean, hopefully in a couple months time, if you're watching this in the future, there will be so many options for you to choose from. So far, I've been doing live, different random mods, checking them out, having fun, and just talking and chatting. It's really amazing. If you stop by one of them, thank you so much. Pros and cons. The spider farm. I've noticed a huge change with this farm while I've been using this thing over this episode, but then I also kind of noticed it in a previous episode, but I wasn't sure. Look at this right here. Previously, this would have been a death sentence standing up here with poison spiders right there. I would have been poisoned. Like, go back to the episode where I built the thing, and you could see how many times I would get poisoned, and it was so annoying. I think it has to be like the combat reach changes in 1.20.2 or 3 or whatever update it was. But the combat reach changes. The farm is way easier and better to use than ever before. You can stand right up against these trap doors and not really have to worry about the spiders being able to poison you. The downside, however, is the spiders. Their targeting seems to be a little bit less good than it used to before. It's not really a big problem with like use of the bow. You can just shoot right through there and take them out. No big deal. But... Uh, but it's a thing. It's definitely a thing that I've noticed with this farm. I was also thinking probably you could put an armadillo inside of it in 1.20.5 and just like maybe even scare them all the way to you a little bit quicker. But yeah, I can't believe it. So soon we've already done it all the way back up at the top right here with the levels that I have. Depth Strider 3, give me something good. All right. I mean, Fire Projection 3 as well. We're going to just go ahead and delete that one. But whatever, it's cool. Instead of our humble little enchanting guide here, we go ahead and flip ahead to page number 5, Boots. The best enchanted boots in the entire game have Death Strider 3, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Soul Speed 3, and Mending. Except, except there is a little bit of a catch here when it comes to our types of protections that one could put on the armor. If you want to, you could do Blast Protection, Fire Protection, Projectile, or Plain Old Protection. In my opinion, from my experience, it's better to just have all around good protected armor than like a specified set, unless of course you're building it like for something. Like meaning like maybe I'm building another set of armor, then fire protection might be good to sub out for protection. But for our set of armor today, we already had protection going and I like that generally good armor. Please give me something good, Fortune 3. Oh, but do I need another Fortune 3 tool? Every single tool that I have is, is Fortune 3. <laughs> I mean, if you insist. Hey, wise guy, not so bad. What do you think you're doing out here? <laughs> Get out of here. Very fastly, a quick pause for thorns. Who? Thorns. Thorns is an enchantment that can go on just about any piece of armor in the entire game, but thorns, one, two, or three, I hate it. You see, the amount of damage that you can take from mobs and the amount of damage that thorns actually deals back to them is just not worth it to me. Thorns is also going to just relentlessly, pointlessly drain the durability on your armor. So I don't think it's worth it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we're back. We're so back. This better work. This better have been worth the extra levels that I just grinded out for painfully. This better work. Efficiency. Unbreaking. Any... Alright. Alright, it's not a soaked on shovel. It's definitely not. But, whew, that's one good, fine, fancy looking shovel at the price of diamonds nowadays oh i mean that's no big deal one more extra diamond shovel for efficiency four right there one more loop around one more time <laughs> i'll be right back baby i'll be right back it's always time it's so time efficiency four so dutch i'm breaking efficiency four on breaking i can't complain this is not bad that's a good shovel and so, so, so successfully, we've just about accomplished everything, every dream we've set out to do today, so far. Next up, next up, oh, it's been a long time since I've seen one of you, lad. It's been a long time. Where have you been this entire time? Just missing MIA, going from my world. Why have you not spawned? Listen, I'm in the middle of an operation right now. It's real awkward. Usually I would deal with you, but I'm too busy, okay? So just uh, see yourself out, okay? Take a look at my, oh, maybe that's it. They want to admire that beautiful tower. Oh, best build of the world. Maybe. Enchanting and combining. Next up is time. 
The next stop of the day today sees us all the way over to Sweet Mendel's house. Over here at Dear Mendel's location, we need a total of one, two, three, four enchanted mending books, maybe five if I want to max out the shovel right from the start. Five mending books, five mending books. Oh, will I be able to buy it right from the start with no additional input? Three, four. Oh, we're so close. Dear friend, we're so close. I got enough for all of the armor, but oh, my friend. I need some more money. I'll be back. Prodor, Prodor, how have you been? It's been so long. Not long enough. My guy has not been long enough. Carrots. Carrots are the things you want to buy from me. Got it. Noted. I'll be right back. Frodor, oh Frodor, you are going to maybe max that level out. Yes, you are, my beautiful friend. You're so smart. What are you going to unlock at next level? Oh, melons. You want to buy melons from me? Okay. I could build a melon farm soon. That's not a problem. I could buy cookies, but have you seen my cookie farm? Come on, man. I'm going to be one emerald short. That's pathetic. Come on. All right, let's just go ahead and trade you all the carrots I brought with you over here. Now I have extra money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You know, it's kind of crazy uh, how a guy can feel so small and insignificant over here with these big buildings. What the? Where did you come from? What the? How in the world? And where in the world did that villager come from? I hope not the iron farm. There's no chance. How did you get out of that house? What the? Mending, oh, mending. In pursuit of the best tools, but also the best armor. Inside of all of survival Minecraft, mending needs to be on every single piece of armor and eventually the elytra too, but we'll deal with that soon. Now over here, we're gonna have one big potential catch up and that's gonna be a 40. Oh, no, you did not. No, 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 I don't even have an extra sapling. No, you did not. I'll come back and fix you later. A disgrace to my name and family. Terrible tree. Because the cost of this armor that we're about to craft up for ourselves is probably going to be so high, it's smartest that I think we do it near an experience source. First things first, let's get it out of the way. Oh, oh my, oh my, never mind. We'll, we'll deal with that at the end. Now, unfortunately, and without reason, inside of the anvil, combining things costs levels. And sometimes, I don't even want to say it, but I, I don't want to say it. First things first, I suppose we'll start with the chest plate because after this, aside from getting netherite armor, this chest plate is the fully maxed out chest plate that one could dream of. With a protection four on breaking three and mending, there is quite simply nothing better than that piece of armor right there. Next up, we'll go ahead and take on the pants because yes, yeah, just like with the chest plate, it can't be too expensive. These pants right here, they're not going to be fully maxed out and finished quite yet. With our freshly cleaned casual slacks, uh, we'll put it on the to-do list. We will go very soon to Ancient City and find Swift Sneak. Then that'll be perfect. Now this step is where things are going to start to get a little bit more expensive. Because for this one, it's going to be 16 levels. We're going to, we don't have a choice. We, we got to take the 16 levels and then mending is going to go on there. It's, oh, okay. It's only five. That's not bad. For the best pair of boots. A little bit more specifically, if you see the Instagram, you know, you know. The Croc boots right there. I think that's literally the best, other than soul speed. We'll put it on the to-do list too, even though it's not really probably going to be an everyday essential. Now, finally, last but not least, this helmet right here is going to cost some levels to go ahead and get all of these enchantments on it. And, and tragically, speaking of levels, it's uh, not exactly what I'm known for at this moment. And the armor is going to have a problem too, with the whole repairing. Anyways, three, two, one, it's time left time, baby. I'll be back. So for today's comment of the day, I wanted to pick a comment that is very intriguing to me. It was an idea, something that we could do under the ground at some point inside of this world. Build some sort of ancient structure that could have been excavated from the ground, and this brings a question from me to you. Oh boy, um, the, 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 the trail of ruins, <laughs> hey, the trail of ruins. We found one of those things, or maybe even two in this world, long time ago, very long time. Inside of your world, have you ever taken on the trail ruins? Or, like me, have you completely forgotten about it? I love the concept of archaeology. Minecraft is so cool, but I really still wish that in 1.20 they added, like, I don't know, something more to it. Like a tool or something unique other than armor trim that you could have gotten from this ruins. I feel like if there was, like, 
maybe a special type of pickaxe or maybe like a different, I don't know, weapon or something that I could only find at this thing, it would have motivated me to actually go and check it out a little bit more. The armor trim is cool and all, but when it comes to the trim, all I think about is the Ancient City Silence one. I mean, the other ones are cool, but the real Kahuna is found over in the Ancient City and not the, the trail room. Also, there was a bonus question asking if I play guitar. I figured I'd answer that too by saying yes. <laughs> so thank you for the questions. I appreciate you. Keep them coming. And so a quick pause. Level 11 right now. I think I might be able to pull off most of this stuff and get it on the armor. Right there, I'm breaking three protection four. We got it. Aqua affinity, no big deal. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get it all. I get it. I, I guess it's fine, but I'm close. All right, I've got it. This time, it's got to be possible. Respiration 3, right there. We go ahead and put Mending 9 levels still. Oh, plus one more for a cool name that I had in mind. All right, back to the shop for me. All right, I can't wait any longer. Any good set of armor? One of the most important things is getting the enchantments right, but you also have to get the name. I feel a lot of thought and consideration should go into each piece of armor's name. After all, it'll be with you forever, hopefully. So please, please, allow me to introduce the Croc Boots. This is one of the most comfortable footwears around. They go with everything. They're cool. They're unique. They get questions. Now, we've got the casual slacks. You got to be comfortable, you know, like going around in like jeans. Uh, it's just uncomfortable. Then we have limited edition supreme sweater for the hype beats out there. You know how it goes. Got a sunt on them a little bit. And then finally, last but not least, the Adventurer's Balaclava. A waterproof, all-out balaclava. Submerge yourself fully in water. Try to dare you. It doesn't matter. Water doesn't cut through it. Take on the most dangerous and most bad mob of all time. And it doesn't matter either. Because the balaclava, it's like laced with protection all around we now have a beautiful stunning looking set of armor need a little bit more trim but whatever whatever we look past it and we also have a very functional set of armor as well i've already gone ahead and mended up these pieces of armor i actually didn't have to with this one but mended those up i'm gonna have to do that there is one final thing that i need to do today though and that's gonna be combine this shovel this is going to be an expensive job 11 levels plus probably like a couple more after that ah shit. I guess it's time for one more time lapse. I'll be right back. Okay, all right, look, I don't know about you, but 16 feels like a pretty certain and a pretty strong number. Please, 16 work, please. Which way is 11? All right, so far, so good. Efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, fortune 3. Last but not least. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Last but not least, beautiful. Mending the best diamond shovel in the game as an added bonus to our beautiful set of armor today. I mean, it's not bad. And so, my friends, that's how it's done. Just like that, your quick and easy guide to the best armor enchantments in all of Minecraft and the best suit enchanted fully up. Next time you find yourself maybe looking for the best helmet, searching to remember what the best pair of boots is, hopefully you can come back to this episode and it'll be able to help you out. You get a little bit of ideas and, you know, just all of it. I can't believe it how long last my armor is not actually about to break, which opens up so many more exploring opportunities. I'm so happy about it. Sincerely and dearly, thank you all so much for watching this episode. As always, for early access to every single one of the episodes of this series, check out my Patreon. There's a link down below. In the future, our handy little enchanting guide right here to everything else inside of Minecraft. I have a feeling we might come back around to it. Guess we'll have to wait and see. For now, though, it will reside inside of that box, and I hope I don't forget. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, I've got a little bit more mending of tools up to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.